Welcome back to Maths in an Empty Classroom with me, Mr Southern. This is part four of the lesson on algebraic long division. Uh, and what we're looking at in this part is what happens if the expression you're dividing by actually isn't a factor. Uh, well, you get a remainder. That's okay. You can still do algebraic long division. It just affects how you write the result. Uh, so what I'm doing as an example is I'm dividing x cubed plus 3x squared minus 4x plus 7 by x plus 1. The process of algebraic long division is exactly the same as all the previous examples. We start off by saying how many x is going to x cubed, uh, and the answer is x squared. We then multiply back, giving you x cubed plus x squared, draw the line in, and subtract to find the remainder. So x cubed take away x cubed is nothing. 3x squared take away x squared is 2x squared. Bring down the minus 4x so that I've got two terms to divide into. And repeat. How many x is going to 2x squared? 2x. So write plus 2x at the top and then multiply back. 2x times x, 2x squared. 2x times 1 is plus 2x, draw in the line to find the remainder. Negative 4x, take away 2x is negative 6x, going further into the negatives, bring the plus 7 down so that I've got two terms for my next stage of division. And repeat. How many times does x go into negative 6x? Well, minus 6, negative 6. Multiply back negative 6x minus 6. Now, here's the bit where we get the remainder. You may see this coming. Negative 6x take negative 6x, nothing, that's fine. But positive 7 take negative 6 is positive 13. So what that means is this isn't a factor of this expression. We get a remainder 13. So that means we just have to write this result slightly differently we would write that x cubed plus 3x squared minus 4x plus 7, which is our original expression, can be written as x plus 1 times by x squared plus 2x minus 6. But because of this remainder, outside of all of that would be plus 13. And what that would mean is if you expanded all this back out, you would have almost this, but not quite. You'd have to add 13 on to get back up to the plus 7. Uh, and that's how to deal with these when the expression doesn't go into it exactly as a factor and you get a remainder here. Job done.